<laughs> Hi guys, how are you all doing? Um, it's been a very long time. I haven't done a video in so long. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed the holidays. Um, this is another episode of Hockey on the Spot with Brandon Marenfeld. Uh, that's me, Brandon Marenfeld. Um, this really isn't going to be much of a real episode. Um, all this is really going to be is a status update. Um, basically... The reason I haven't been making videos in so long is because I've just been so busy lately um, and I'm not going to be getting any freer as far as my time is concerned. I'm just going to get busier and busier. So I'm going to go back to making videos, but I'm not going to be doing them every single day. Um, more like once a week, probably, you know, every Monday, maybe Tuesday, you know, maybe Sunday. Probably Monday will most likely be the day that I'll be doing videos, which is today. <laughs> but uh, overall, I'm not going to be doing videos like I used to. I'm also not going to be doing, you know, the hockey history thing anymore. Um, and I'm not really going to go over, you know, the different scores and stuff like I was. Um, I want to try to make these as short as possible, and I really haven't been doing that with these videos that I've been doing. Um, I'll continue to talk about updates, but only really big ones. I'm not going to go into every little update needed, um, which I shouldn't have been doing to begin with. But, uh, you know, I'm still kind of new to the whole blogging thing. Um, so, um, yeah, but uh, we'll still continue to do updates. Um, you know, we got the Olympics coming up. Um, in Sochi, um, and all the teams have pretty much been named. Um, every player for every team has been named, um, and some of the rosters look really good. We'll probably talk more about that next week because, like I said, today's episode is just going to be a status update. Um, I'm not really going to talk about much, but um, yeah, as I said, the Olympics are coming up soon. Um, and all the teams have been named, and now it's just a matter of all these players that have been named to the Olympics stay healthy, you know. Um, so hopefully that will be the case. Um, I think, though, um, there have just been a lot of big stories around the NHL, though, since I've been away, some pretty big trades, the most recent one being um, Tim Gleason being sent to the Toronto Maple Leafs for John Michael Lyles and a prospect. Um, I think it's a good trade for both sides. Um, the Canes need an offensive defenseman, and as for the Leafs, they need a guy who's going to not only be a shutdown guy, but also pl play the body. So, um, uh, there's going to be a, a significant announcement in Buffalo tomorrow regarding USA Hockey, um, which is good news. Um, but, uh, I think, though, as far as the NHL is concerned, there, no story has been bigger than the Anaheim Ducks right now. Um, and I'm not saying that just because I'm a fan, but um, they have just continued to roll along. They won again last night against the Detroit Red Wings, won nothing. They continue to roll along, especially on home ice. They're, um, they've now gone 19-0-2 on home ice, and which is... T uh, t and Jonas Hiller is three wins away from tying the longest streak in NHL history for most wins by a goaltender in one year consecutively. Gillies Gilbert, or Gillies Gilbert, holds the current record with 17 wins in 75-76 with the Boston Bruins. So, this is a very significant uh, note right there. Just want to point that out. But yes, going back to the status update, um... Yeah, so, like I said, I'm not going to be making that many videos, uh, as many as I've been making, and they're not going to be very long videos um, when I do make them. I'm going to try, uh, keyword try, to keep them under 10 minutes, maybe. Um, some of them will probably be a little longer, um, like t next week's episode will probably be a little longer, because it's talking about all the different teams, and all the different players on the team. Um, and then, you know, when the trade deadline comes around, there will de I'll definitely do a trade deadline edition of, this, of Hockey on the Spot. 
Um, that will definitely be a long episode because I'll have to talk about all the different trades that have been going on, and I'm sure we're going to see some trades down the stretch as well before the Olympics roll around. Um, another trade deadline in a sense. But, yeah, there's going to be a lot going on in, around the NHL this year, um, and it's going to be exciting, you know. There's going to be exciting. Um, and also one thing I might try to do um, – on, and only if it's announced on time is I'll announce who the three stars of each week are for all the teams. You know, the three stars of the week are in around the NHL. So, yep, that's basically where my position is at right now. So I hope we're all on the same page here. Um, and, yeah, um, again, you won't be seeing me every day anymore. I'm only going to do videos once a week, so... Yep, that's pretty much it, everyone. Um, not much else to talk about today. So, that'll do it for today's episode uh, of Hockey on the Spot. This has been episode 105 of Hockey on the Spot with Brandon Barenfeld. That's me. Um, I'll see you guys again next week. All right, everyone, enjoy your day. Bye. And also, Happy New Year.